Hello everyone, my name is Daniel, and I want to talk to you all about something. Here on my gaming channel, I try to keep the mood upbeat, make a few jokes, make everybody laugh. Well, what's happening right now in America, and all over the world, is a very long, deep-running issue. It's called racism. And if you haven't figured it out yet, it's bad. No shit, Sherlock. All this kicked off when a man by the name of George Floyd was a victim of police brutality and has ended up murdered as a result. You can look at it from any angle. There are multiple videos online. You can see them all, no problem. But this, it isn't just towards African Americans. The protest going on right now is a Black Lives Matter. A lot of this is. But I want to draw attention to the fact that racism in and of itself is alive and well. And it shouldn't be. When September 11th happened, the two towers crashed, and afterwards we blamed Islamic Americans. Muslims. Anybody who even remotely looked Middle Eastern. They were our enemy now. Not just in America, but all over the world. In World War II, in America, we went around and we arrested Japanese Americans. Throwing them into internment camps, just like Hitler did with Jewish people. This was America. One of these people, oh, one of the individuals went by the name of George Takai, who played a prominent role in the TV show Star Trek as Sulu. There is a sense of loyalty to the men and women you serve with. A sense of family. This is still going on even now, with COVID-19 and the pandemic spreading everywhere. People look at Asian Americans in disgust, as if they are vile and if this virus and this pandemic is because of them. But the people who take the most of it, the blunt of it, are people of African American descent here in America. There have been many people. Rodney King. Martin Luther King Jr. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, 39 years old and a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and the leader of the nonviolent civil rights movement in the United States was assassinated in Memphis tonight. Protesting for equal rights. Rosa Parks was arrested simply because she sat in the wrong side of the bus. I was arrested on December 1st, 1955 for refusing to stand up on the orders of the bus driver after the uh, white seats had been occupied in the front. Eric Garner. It was choked to death for trying to sell some cigarettes. It's more than enough right to take a man's life i want to bring all this to attention not not just my friends who were african-american my friends who were asian puerto rican mexican people who we've thrown into internment camps again at the bequest of our president donald J. Trump. To immigrant communities across the country bracing for an ICE crackdown to kick into high gear now, those deportation raids sparking new protests overnight. These people are human. They are us. They are our brothers, our sisters. And I say this in this gaming channel because I want everybody to know. I want everybody to think about this. When you game with people, you don't see who they are on the other end, you just game. They are unknown battlegrounds, Call of Duty Warzone, Minecraft, Terraria, Counter-Strike, Dota 2, League of Legends. You don't see the other person at the other side of that screen. These are the people you've made friends with, you laugh with, you cry with. Friends you can talk to, enjoy time together with. You don't care where they came from. You don't care about their religion, their sexual orientation, at least of all, you don't care about their color. These people are our friends. These people are our family. 
And these are the people out there right now protesting. No matter what the world tries to do, and no matter how everybody tries to change the topic, we can't be quiet right now. These are the people we game with. These are, these are our family. These are people who mean something to me, who mean something to you. Even if you don't feel directly connected to it, when you stop and you think and you realize you game with these people, that you have a lot more in common. We are all united through our passions, through the things we enjoy, the things we love. And it's that love that brings us together, that unifies us, that makes us whole. And right now we are divided. We are divided more than ever, and this needs to end. We have to end this. We've talked about it in media for years from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You can put your hands down, Jazz. No way. Dude's got a gun. Next thing you know, I got six warning shots in my back. To all in the family. Listen, friends, it's one thing to play a bigot on TV, and it's quite another thing to be a bigot in real life. You know, there are still people around who are willing to hurt other people by judging them primarily on their race or their religious beliefs. Now, bigotry has not helped Archie Bunker's life. You know that. It has spoiled it in many ways, small and large. Mm -hmm. To mash. Give me a bottle of your best stuff, Ginger. Yes, Doctor. Hey, make sure I get the right color blood, eh, Doc? Huh? I wouldn't want any of that darky stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, sure. To gumball. How safe is the neighborhood? Oh, we've never had any problems. I would say it's pretty safe. Put your hands right and see them. We're going down. Yeah, dog. I'll be out in 30 days and we'll continue my crime spree. Starting right here. Not a hot watch. Now get down on the ground. Oh. Sir, get up, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Now watch your hands. Oh. Hey, this is not your car. I'm trying to do with Grand Theft Auto. Wow, I think the police are scarier than the criminals. It's there. And we've made jokes about it to draw attention to it. But this has been a long, deep-seated running issue. We need to band together now more than ever to let people know that we will not stand for this. That kind of ideology is what brought about World War II. In Germany, Hitler hated the Jews. We threw them into the internment camps. And now, in Germany... They never forget. They live with that shame every single day to make sure there it never happens again. And we've let it keep happening everywhere else. It's time for us to stop it. What kind of a peace do I mean and what kind of a peace do we seek? Not a Pax Americana enforced on the world by American weapons of war, not the peace of the grave or the security of the slave. I am talking about genuine peace, the kind of peace that makes life on earth worth living, the kind that enables men and nations to grow and to hope and build a better life for their children, not merely peace for Americans, but peace for all men and women, not merely peace in our time, but peace in all time. The United States, as the world knows, we do not want a war. We do not now expect a war. This generation of Americans has already had enough, more than enough, of war and hate and oppression. We shall be prepared if others wish it. We shall be alert to try to stop it. But we shall also do our part to build a world of peace where the weak are safe and the strong are just. We are not helpless before that task or hopeless of its success. Confident and unafraid, we must labor on, not towards a strategy of annihilation, but towards a strategy of peace. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. 